when you, first step in making your hood, if you look at your pattern guide, it is going to tell you to stitch that curved, this curved back seam of your hood. And so you will stitch that seam and you'll finish that seam the same way that you finish the rest of the seams in your jacket. And so this particular jacket, I have welted the seam. So I've stitched that seam and I've, and I've welted it. And then we're going to pull that right side out. Now, when you do your hood, you've got a couple of choices. You can have the hood and just have your casing for your drawstring turn and your, the inside of your hood will just be the inside of the fabric there. Y or you can actually line your hood. And I've chosen to line the hood and I've just lined it, I'm lining it actually with a very lightweight um, interlock mitt. It can be lined with a knit, it can be lined with a woven. If you are lining it and using a welt seam, the thing you want to be careful of is that whatever direction you welt the seam on your fashion fabric, that when you're done, and these are going to sit inside of each other, before you welt the second seam, line these two up, line your seam up, and look and see when this is done, and they're going to be sitting there wrong sides together when all is said and done. I welted the jacket hood heading towards the right, and so when I welted the hood lining, I welted it towards the left so that it distributes the bulk on both sides of that seam allowance. And so just welt, sew the one first, sew your second seam, and then look and be sure you folded that the opposite direction. When you fold it that opposite direction, actually just stick a pin in there so that, that seam is held the right direction, then go back to your sewing machine, welt that seam and trim it. And so my seams are both welted and they are both trimmed and, and then ready to go.